welcome to VCR. What a show. I don't even know what show we're doing. It's VCR what? Party's Quarantine Classics. Thank you, Nick. That's Nick yes. Thor over there. I'm Joe. It's George and Steve. And boy, do we got a fun-filled, great, great hour. Great hour. Low quality. <laughs> I mean, high quality. Low prices. Low, low, low prices. Low prices. Great quality. Low prices. What you've come to expect here on VCR Party's Quarantine Classics. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is the show where we mostly show bad photos of ourselves and, and viewers. And, uh, but we start off with some kind of video, and uh, Amy wrote us this week and said that um, Atari Rob, who we've, he's contributed stuff to us before. He's a it's his He's an IMG miner, too. He's a he great is an IMG miner. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's Rob's birthday, and she, she suggested that we show three different videos. And I thought, well, can we show a little bit of each? And uh, Joe, did you put that together? Yeah, I got it right here. I'm, I'm okay. pulling it up right here. Yeah, this is Atari Rob's birthday mix. Uh, three of his favorites uh, are included here. I don't want to give away the surprise. We'll just let yeah. it be. Okay, here it is. Happy birthday, Rob. <laughs> yes. Hypnotizing Rob into bowling better. Oh, this mixes well together. Uh -huh. Price master. <laughs> Me as a child saluting a camel suit play. Uh, there it is. Happy birthday, Tony Rob. Hope Happy birthday. Very Happy special. Birthday. And uh, yeah, yeah I, I like that he really likes the uh, saluting the flag, the Campbell's soup flag uh, from the M Moose un Unbelievably Cool video. I like that detail that he likes that. I, I do too. I respect the hell out of that. Still one of my favorite EP mode episodes. So if you're a Patreon backer at the $10 and up level, you can watch us watch that entire Moose Lodge recruiting video uh, that that scene is from. Yeah, we watch um, it with John Glazer too. Yes, yeah. yeah, and we watched it, I think, four times in a row, was it? Five times in a row. Five times. Yeah. Well, we have a big announcement. Um, we have been quarantined since March, doing these bonus shows, and um, Quarantine Classics is coming to an end. We're going to end it two weeks from now. This, wait, is this the penultimate show? This, this is, is the, the penultimate, penultimate show. Yes, next week will be our last show ever for VC, uh, for uh, quarantine classics. And, and to be honest, I, th I think we wore out our welcome a few weeks ago. I think we jumped the shark maybe like- <laughs> It's kind of like Lost 15. where it went on like three seasons too long. Yeah, yeah. you know, like I, I feel like once the uh, toe tapping tournament was over, I think that, you know, we should have just called it quits. Lost some steam, yeah. yeah. But we have something new coming up. Um, we're gonna do something called Saturday Morning Cartoons where we're gonna show shitty cartoons. We're gonna air it live Monday morning and it's gonna be super fun. It's just gonna be a bunch of old, like Rubik, what was that Rubik's Cube cartoon? Rubik's the gonna, Amazing Cube, yeah. We'll watch entire episodes on Saturday mornings. We'll probably put them up at, what do you think, like 9, 10 a.m. or something? Yeah, on Saturday, yeah. Bed. Because yeah. I just saw somebody posting today that they're, all that's on is like political shows and infomercials that's on Saturday mornings now. There aren't any, there isn't a programming block dedicated to children on Saturday mornings now because no. everything's on demand. Exactly. But we will have appointment television, Saturday morning cartoons, I think, yeah, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time on Saturdays, these will drop. I've talked to Caitlin McGurk, who is the um, curator of the Billy Ireland Cartoon Museum at The Ohio State University. She's going to be joining us to watch some of these cartoons. And uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and say this is our best titled show yeah well, Saturday and also, I love the word shat I love the past tense yeah. of shit is shat and it just it's works way out better perfectly. it's way better than quarantine classics as a title um <laughs> that's the worst one and I think you just tossed out this idea and then George sent us an email with this and he said I got your intro so let's take a look this is uh will be greeting us uh, in a few weeks wake up Cool. 
Uh, you did it again, Drew. Great, great catchy song. Grab your stools. Love it. <laughs> we're, we're animated. Uh, we're animated better than most Ruby Spears cartoons, too. Uh, and that looked like your first time animating, and it was great. So uh, that's, yeah, we're super excited about that. Um, it's time for some change. Yeah. You know, we got to switch things up a little bit. Yeah. And it'll start in September, so we will be doing um, a one more week of Quarantine Classics, and we have a special coming up after that, a primetime special based on Plunkett's. Uh, George came up with the title. I think we kind of workshopped it, but George, do you want to give, give the title? It's uh, TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> the world's biggest inside joke. I mean, like, <laughs> only people who watch this show will get it. It's just one big inside joke. Yeah, but, but it's going to be a, a primetime special, so I actually want to drop this in primetime. We will be dressed up like Ed McMahon and Dick Clark from Bloopers and Practical Jokes, and we'll be showing off our favorite Plunkets. Maybe there'll be some celebrity guests. It'll be like a one-hour special. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I'll what be is... dressed as a Sergio Aragonis cartoon that walks along the bottom, <laughs> sweeping up. After yeah, I was going to say, if you could sweep some things. Yeah, and we'll have some light bulbs behind us. So, yeah. what's, uh, the name of the, what's the name of the show again? One more time. I just like hearing you say it. TV Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I have trouble saying it. That's good stuff. Yeah, we were uh, meeting about it, and George it was spitballed off something, and we said, that's it. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll that have second thoughts, but yeah, that it had done. So exciting time of change, and we're sad to see Quarantine Classics go. But Are uh, we? I don't know. Well, I my parents just sent me 100 photos from my childhood. <laughs> I could keep going. Maybe I'll just I'm do a solo spinoff show. I, I spent an hour this morning looking for Plunkets, and I was just like, ah, that's kind of a stretch. Oh, it's me making another funny face. I don't know. Yeah. Diminished returns at this point. All right. I might have to go solo. But uh, yeah, I, anyway, the, uh, I, I think, yeah, it's time for change. So, but not before this episode and one final episode. Uh, so shall we get into it? Let's do it. Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett had never known failure until now. It's show us your Plunkets, the penultimate. Show us your Plunkets. You guys know what penultimate means? You guys Make it all last. Know? Everybody, yep, exactly. Okay, yep. all right, four for four on penultimate. But, yep. uh, glad you got to drop hey, that let's, word. Let's, uh, let's take a look at our top threes where we're, where we're sitting right now. Uh, this is the, uh, the expedited version uh, of uh, the top three. So last week we had, uh, who is this, Josh? Yeah, Joshua. Joshua with a very... Uh, um serious and patriotic punctuation market. shirt at the oh, I, never even noticed that. I was yeah. ju i just noticed all the america behind him uh anyway he got usurped by uh wayney who we're gonna have on the show today um she's gonna be on she's gonna explain more of uh what what's going on here but uh, she has a lot of great celebrity plunkets and she's gonna be joining us is she is she there right now yeah she's on well you want to bring her on well, yeah, let's bring her on after the, uh, the okay, rundown. After, after the top three. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe she'd be excited to see that she made she cracked the top three. Well, we'll tell her. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, number 2.5. This one's interesting. Remember, this is David, You're Such a Cutie. That got usurped by Emmy's uh, Indiana Jones. This week, it got usurped back by David, Whoa! You're Such a Cutie. Yes. Can you believe well, that? Well, Emmy is not going to be happy about that. No, but David, you're such a cutie, will be happy about okay. that. Okay. And Janine and Linda will probably be happy too. So uh, then coming in at number two, it used to be uh, this one of Nick at Red Robin. I took a photo of him at a Red Robin and uh, posted on Facebook, and we haven't been friends since. And that got usurped several weeks ago by Nick Stevens' brother, Mid Sneeze, uh, Saddam Hussein, Dad, and Mom in the Bra. And of course, number one is going to be. Steve and Jim Plunkett. Um, there's, your, there's, your, Steve. there's your, uh, yeah, there's your. All rundown. right. Well, this is the first time we've ever had a viewer come on. So let me bring on Wayney here. We just thought her stories were so good because she often goes to these celebrity events. And we'll talk to her about that. Um, I'm asking her to start her video and to unmute. And... Yeah, I want to find out this year. Hey, it's Hi. Wayney. Hi, Hi Wayney. Hey. Hi. Hi, Wayne. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Well, you'll be pleased to know that you made the top three. Uh, okay. Joe just did the recap, and uh, yep. you okay, usurped. Okay. You you, you usurped this week. Yes. Ooh. Congratulations! Congratulations on usurping. 
So we're going to talk to you. We're going to talk to you about all your amazing plun celebrity plunkets. Um, but okay. uh, we, sh we should probably start off. We'll get through some of our plunkets and then uh, and then we'll get awesome. to you. And uh, feel, feel free to comment people. along. I've got some weak ass plunkets, so I'm I'm gonna go first. Okay, okay. I got I I have one plunket of me, and then the rest is, is of Nick and my wife. Um, all right, so here's my first plunket. This was taken a couple of years ago, and uh, I don't know, just just posture. the posture and just the 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 you know just kind of like puffy, just generally puffy. And then me and the guy have the same facial expression. And who is the guy on the right? What's that? Who is the guy on the right? Uh, he was just sitting behind me on a ferry <laughs> going out to okay. Governor's Island. And, oh, and, and plus, like, I get so much – Brooklyn Brewery sponsored us. I get – we have so much Brooklyn Brewery clothing uh, that we got for free that 90% of my wardrobe is Brooklyn Brewery. So I'm wearing a Brooklyn Dodgers hat and a Brooklyn – it's just way too Brooklyn for, like, mm -hmm. rural – Wisconsin. It's just kind of embarrassed in this picture. So that's a, my, this is my final plunket right here. This is my last plunket in my Wow. Club. Next up, uh, we were on tour, I think this was maybe four or five years ago. And uh, my wife came along, Albertina came along, and Nick, I think we were doing a tour through the Midwest, and I think we were doing a college shows. And um, so I just want to show you some of the highlights from, uh, so that, that was an exciting part of the tour. Just like the, the excitement of the tour. You know, just like how yeah. fun it is to tour. Um, just doing what we always dreamed of as kids, and <laughs> just always yeah. elated. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Albertino was. Sleeping. Yeah, there's a lot of sleeping that went on, went on, and then uh, on our way to Champagne. <laughs> no, this oh, is man. I think it was like University of Sioux Falls or something. Okay, right. And uh, then here's a little sneak peek behind the scenes backstage. You always wonder what goes on behind that in, in backstage. Take a look at this. Checking their phone. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Everyone on their phone backstage. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. That's where the party happens. I love happens. the khakis on Nick. Which Thank ones? you. Oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah. I, are those pleated? No, no. I haven't worn pleated pants in a long time, but I think they're just wrinkled because you're sitting in the car for so long. Probably. Yeah. They're bunched up in the crotch. A lot of sleeping in the car. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> All right, so those are my weak ass plunkets. I'd like to apologize for those plunkets. Steve, what do you got? Steve, this this segment is named after you and your childhood hero. What do you have? Uh, well, I got three today. I'm going to save them. I didn't go hard today because I'm saving it for uh, hopefully next week. I'm going to really dig deep and find some great ones. Great. Uh, but um, I think we've talked about in previous weeks that I have a lot of trouble um, <laughs> trying to set up a photo. <laughs> while a selfie while also doing something else whether it's dog, wrangling a child babies. but i thought my niece did a great job adding to this plunket with her look oh she's a plunket there too of us, you know it really it kind of plunket it yeah yeah you got you got plunket in your dna so like <laughs> yeah right no it's yeah it's it's something that we uh you know pass you know. down to the other generations yeah very proud of that steve how are how are you at, at <laughs> Can I? Can we back up, oh Steve, gosh. before we get to this? How are you at smiling on demand? Because I would guess that you're not good at it. when people are like, "Smile for the picture," then you have to do that. That's I hate kind of that. I do I too. Hate that. I have to be, genuinely be laughing in order for me to get a good smile. Otherwise, I'm just like like that. I'm like Steve. Right. I agree. Yeah. I'm very hit or miss, but I'd say if you're just asking me to smile, I'm a lot better. If you're asking me to smile and do one other thing, it's like the walk of two thumbs. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I can do one thing at a time, and that's it. Here was two to three. I had to make sure the baby didn't fall, the camera was the right height, right. and I was smiling. So, no, way too much for my play. Yeah. yeah. No. This one, um, my uh, nieces and nephews decided to give me tattoos. That better about be tattoos. washable. Yeah, I used to walk up, work <laughs> on LA Ink, so they watched a little bit of it. And then they decided I'm getting anxiety there. just by looking at it. <laughs> well, the heart. It's great artwork. Did, did it's you great. get ink poisoning or anything? Are you? Are they still on your arms? Like, what's going Some on? Them still are. It took a long time for them to even <laughs> fade. But yeah, no. If I uh, if I showed you my arms, you'd still see some of the uh, you know the hearts and. It, it's it's kind of work. artwork. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it Can looks I, like it looks like you just kind of like wiped your ass with your left hand too. That's I mean, what I was going to say. Yeah, I wondered if they did that on purpose. They're like, let's let's put poop in his left hand. You know, I'd never ever thought about that, but I bet you, you know, that they did. They really wanted to teach their uncle a lesson. Can, can you call them up right now and just say, hey, did you intentionally put poop in my hand with markers? Can you just call them up right now? Um, no, I'm not going to call them. 
It would be too much. Good. What, what's the number? What's the Wait, number? Wayne, if Joe asks you to call anybody, you can say no. I think that's a good <laughs> yeah. lesson. I'm actually on my phone right now, so I can oh. I, I can't oh. actually call. I yeah, want you to call I want you to call Joe Manage Managioli. What's his name? I <laughs> wish I had his number. Oh, yeah. He's married to uh Sophia from Modern Family. I that's wish right. I had his number. Yeah. Well I, I actually we connect you. I I actually had a celebrity's phone number, if that's an, an interesting story. Oh really? Okay, we'll yeah. we'll save we'll save it for your yeah. Right. It's right. it's good. <laughs> oh, um, I knew you guys enjoyed a previous one where uh, with my grandmother we uh, um, all wore the same shirt. Well, don't think we didn't do that again and again and again. Here is uh, the Lawrence family celebrating after the Red Sox finally won the World Series in '04. All anybody got that year was hats, shirts, and everything mm -hmm. like that. So here we all are together. Showing I wish my family did matching shirts. <laughs> yes, exactly. My family's never done that before. Uh, we do it uh, all the time. It's now become a, uh, a tradition that just won't stop. Nick, but, uh, does your family do that? It seems like something we, your family We did it do. for a couple of pictures, like for Christmas photos, but not really. Like as a more, joke or for, to be serious? I don't know. It was like everybody wear t Christmas ties and shirts. And, I think know, it's scary. I see families do it. I Disney World. It's serious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, like awkward family photos. That's what that whole thing's based on is, are those weird yeah. photos of everybody Matching dressed family in the photos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I may have mentioned it before, but my mom would buy and then like people would complain like, you know, Ed got this, but I got that. And then oh. she was just like, everyone gets the same thing and there's going to be no arguing about it. Makes so. a lot of sense. I like it. All right, uh, George, what do you got? All right. So, so this is, I thought I was out of Plunkett's. And uh, I am, but I saw that when whoever uploaded the Frenchie and the Creep, this was the still that got grabbed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the thing is that didn't correct that, huh? Plunkets are all around yeah. us, and they're inevitable. But I've been doing a lot of thinking now that plunketeering is coming to an end. Um, we've only been looking at plunkets that were photography based, and the history of humanity, the tens of thousands of years of people looking terrible occurred before there were photographs, right? True. So I think we need to look at some ancient plunkets. Uh, right. This is a statue of a Chaldean <laughs> high priest from about 2700 BC. Oh, yeah. He looks like such a jerk. He does. He looks like he, he, looks like he just found out what's about to happen to the Chaldean Empire. Are you with me? <laughs> Zing! Yeah. Uh, he then, looks like that oh. one um, awkward uncle at every family gathering. Oh, I yeah. think I'm that, that uncle that in my family. Secret? I was going to say the same that about myself. That has a secret? But it's Uncle no George. one knows until yeah. on his deathbed. Exactly. I love the beard. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Emperor Nero, first century Roman emperor. He looks terrible, double chin, neck beard. Neck beard. But the, uh, what's worse neck. is that 2,000 years later, 3D reconstruction of his face came up with this. Ooh. And so imagine that, it, that science evolved just to make you into a plunket oh. in the it looks future. Like kind of. Who does he look like? Quasimodo from oh, Hunchback yeah. Notre yeah. Dame. Oh, I was going to sure. say Tobey Maguire, but I think probably. <laughs> I see that too. I see that too. I see and like Planet of the Apes. And uh, finally, we have um, this is Pope mm -hmm. Nicholas V from the 15th century. It's just that that side eye, I think, is pretty. Yeah, pretty I wouldn't have gone with a profile with his nose either. I would have mm. tried to disguise that a little bit. Wow. But ancient plunkets, I like it. It's a new direction. So people have been hideous all throughout humanity. That's what you're yeah. trying to tell us. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let me get into some uh, some of my plunkets that my folks sent me over the uh, right. over the break. Here we have uh, me in a teepee. Um, I I believe this was in Florida. I'm wearing my uh, biking Hawaii hat, and uh, I think I talked last week about how ducks being on shirts was a uh, a thing. So this was, uh, I believe, um, an Apple River uh, party party animal duck shirt. Is that what it says on the shirt right there? I can't. Yeah, like in the text it says like I, I you can't make it out, but I think that's what it says. It's like okay. the place where I was. Captivated by the girl's bikini. I'm so captivated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not in a creepy way, oh. but. I didn't even know. I totally that. want that bikini. And I, I don't remember who this is. If it's like a cousin or like a, I don't know. My, you don't know who it is? I have no I idea I who that is. I hadn't noticed that. Nick, I'd like to point That's out that. that so Nick, I'd like to point out that you're dressed exactly like the duck is on your shirt. 
Well, that was my style goal at the time. Yeah. Still is in a way. By the way, does anybody else think that, like, Nick's like, yeah, the style at the time was ducks on a shirt. Like, that definitely wasn't a thing in Rhode Island. I don't know. No, really? I don't think it was oh. either. No, in I don't Wisconsin, think it was. every souvenir t-shirt shop you would go to yeah. would have a party duck oh, on. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it was Nick, for, for Nick, like, I our age. I lived in Wisconsin, too, Nick, and I think that's a dream that you had. Did you go into t-shirt shops in the Dells? Because yes, of course. They were all filled with party uh, ducks. I guess I didn't go to the party duck section. Yeah. All right. This is uh, another one from, I think that this might have been a year later. Um, this was in Florida. I got my caricature done at a park, and this is the first time I realized I was a fat kid because... <laughs> I think I, I, you know, I just went through life just being happy with my uh, body shape and all this stuff. And you then I got in the movie set. Uh, yeah, I was in a park. Background. Yeah, I was in. They gave directors chairs so that the artists could have time. And she's like, "What do you like to do?" And I said, "Skateboarding." And she drew me on a skateboard with a and drew me as a fat kid in a yellow shirt. And I looked at it and I was like, "This is terrible." And that's the first time I realized that I might need to do so something about it. Kids. Catch yeah. artists are so harsh on kids. I know. That's well, I feel I mean, it. Nick, really Nick, harsh. Nick, you wouldn't be a vegan right now, probably, if it weren't for that caricature artist, though, right? That's true. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Um, oh, so by the thank way, how, you. Do you, how do you get your protein? I was wondering that the other day. I don't know. It's a real problem. Leaves yeah. and twigs is all I eat. <laughs> um, all right. This is from the same trip and uh, a little celebrity photo op of my own there. Ooh. with uh, Which <laughs> one's you, Nick? Nick, which one's you? Is that a yeah, I'm on, the right. I'm on the left. My okay. eyes are closed and my hand is over my groin, not intentionally. So. Of course. <laughs> Young Jung Candy. I have a question about the shirt. Shoot. So a lot of, I've seen a lot of kids wear like these shirts from other companies. Like do all kids wear like shirts, like free shirts from other companies? Because I think that's a kid's thing to wear whatever shirt that your parents give you. Looks like I, I think so. Yeah, that was my dad's um, worked for Ohio Medical or Omida, like a medical company. And they had a when companies used to do company picnics. I don't think they still do, but they had one called no. Omida Olympics and that he helped um, organize, which was like, you know, three legged races and things like that. And I got a souvenir shirt and I decided lucky. to wear it to SeaWorld. <laughs> so, of course. yeah. Uh, let's see, let's, Lainey, let's see your plunkets here. Are you, uh, we, we've seen most of them. Now, you Ooh, specialize in, you, you specialize in celebrity plunkets, though, yeah. right? Okay. Hobby, yeah. Yeah. So, like, you, Well, not the hobby that, you know, the plunkets. I like to meet celebrities. Sometimes I don't get the photo. Most of the, most of the time I do, trying, trying not to flub. Most of the time I do, but I'm just really bad at taking photos. Yeah. I have, like, Family photos. I have vacation photos, like recent ones. They're so terrible. I'm like, yeah, I think you might have Steve Lawrence syndrome. It's, it's an art form. Steve Lawrence Wayne, is don't... better. Steve Lawrence is better. He actually really? smiles. I'm like, you know. Wayne, <laughs> well, it's an art form and you are great photo. at it. <laughs> no, I need to send you my vacation photos. Well, yeah, I want to talk about this because you've kind of evolved over, over the years here and, and being able to okay. smile naturally. Oh, no. so, uh, we've shown this one in the past, but just take us through some quick stories here. Oh, gosh. This is Carly Rae Jepsen. Yes, from uh, She Thinks Call Me Maybe. She Sings the Fuller oh. House theme song. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now, are you not a smiler in photos? Do you not normally smile? Or Okay, so at the moment, like when I'm taking the photo with the celebrities, I actually think I'm smiling. <laughs> I think I'm not. I actually think I'm smiling. Wow, but, but you but you're not. I mean, not. you look you look fine here. It's just not a big yeah. wide wide mouth the smile. Is terrible. I'm really judgmental on myself. The makeup is terrible. I love the hair and the lipstick. You'll see in another photo. It's like this weird 80s chrome lipstick. I hate it. I hate well, the here, Oh no. Oh, now no. This is the one that uh was uh number three this week. This week is our new number three. Down. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, you so you the top here you are with hey. Joe Manganiello from Magic Mike. Oh. Uh, I feel bad for the blonde lady in the middle because I don't know who she is. She I looks fine. She looks great. She looks fantastic. So what, what was happening here, Lainey? Okay, so I was at the book signing and I'm a huge Joe Manganiello fan. I got my hair done. I got my nails done, which you can barely see. So yeah. I got all like, I spent like, what, 40 bucks on myself trying to look good for a photo. Thinking it was, you know, a post photo. You're standing with 
Joe himself, he's standing up, you know, long story short, I was told from the bookstore owner, it's going to be a post photo. And I, I was told that weeks ago, not to complain, long story short, I'm waiting outside the bookstore with a bunch of like older ladies. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm, I was, was like what, 2014, so I was 21 at the time. So we were told, oh, it's just gonna be um, the bookstore owner's just snapping the photo while he signed. So it's not even, you know, Poe, it's not even over. Like the Carly J, like the Carly J Repson, what's her name? <laughs> Carly, Carly James. It's not, like that yeah, one was like a, a proper Ray. posed photo. This is just like yeah, low photo, res. Photo. Yeah, not like Carly Ray. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it was so, like he's signing and it was like in motion, you know, like. Right. Blurry. You can see the blur. Yeah, you can see he the looks, blur. He looks like he's pissed too. Oh, oh, he looks pissed and I feel bad. I feel awful about it. Because I really like him as an actor. Oh gosh, I uh, feel bad. Oh what no. about Ryan Lochte here? Oh, oh, do you want me to tell? <laughs> do you want me to tell you the whole story? So, <sighs> let's hear it. Have you seen the viral video? So, right before I met him, this happened a week ago. There was a viral video, right? So he's promoting his show at the time. What would Ryan Lochte do? What would Ryan Lochte do? It's oh, we all uh, remember that show. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> was here to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course not. So he's promoting the show, and on an interview, like on a news show, he's so boring. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like very boring. Once after he gets off air, the two news anchors are just laughing their butts off, making fun of him, because that's how boring he is. So I met him. Oh my god. In the in this photo here, did you in your head did you think you were smiling again? I actually don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. Maybe, know. I maybe you, maybe, yes, exactly. Maybe you're just yeah. so disappointed. The posture is a little yeah. weird. What I love about your photos, though, is that whenever you know you're with a celebrity, it's always supposed to be like a fun yeah. thing. Like, holy shit, I'm with them, and then you always look uh, miserable. Or but just like, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> it's a great a thing. In my head, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I love, love it though. Celebrity signings. Oh no. But there's the thing I about all these. Yeah, all these yes, photos. Um, yeah. The person who's smiling the least is the celebrity in any photo. So in all these, I think you're the celebrity. I, I'll agree with that. Oh, in general, yeah. celebrities aren't as thrilled to be there, but they're way more thrilled than Wayne looks. Because they've done story. it five hundred times a day. Right. So I think Wayne, you're the celebrity. I think she's in the play it cool mood. Like, don't, you know, play it cool, play it cool, act like you've mm -hmm. been there before. Yeah. Oh so, Sean God. White, you're a oh, fan? Oh, I actually have something really nice to show you. So, Sean White had this line of stride gum, right? Because we all remember his stride gum. Of course. So I'm chewing some right now. I'm, I oh, have you got it. it. <laughs> I have the first one that he came out, that came out in 2011. I, <laughs> these were in the bottom of my purse. Okay. That's how creepy it is. These were in the bottom of my purse. I had his three lines of gum the first year, the second year, the third year as a creepy fan, and I have the mint condition one from the photo. New in box. New wow. in so, box. But you don't actually chew it. You just hold on to that. No, I got a bunch of packs. I bought a bunch of packs. So oh, at okay. the signing, they hand out a bunch of packs at the 7-Eleven. Yeah. They were handing out a bunch of packs. This, this was the one I was holding in the photo. And of course, you could tell I, you know, was chewing it in. Let me just show you the inside of these gums. There's like weird little comics in the gum, and they don't make sense. And the Sean, the Sean White comics? Yes. That's, that's a Sean nice thing. White and Ram. Guys, I did a quick Google search, $100 on eBay for a two-pack yeah. of the uh, Are you serious? Oh, one. That? Oh, yeah. What flavor? Are you serious, Steve? It's the white one, yeah. I just did it. Two sealed. This was the best flavor. The mint one. All of them and, taste like not and, good. Uh, you, you look thrilled about the gum and about meeting Sean here. Oh, that's the but gum in your hand right there. I thought I was smiling in the photo. I was so <laughs> excited to meet him. I'm a huge fan, you know, huge crush, huge crush. I was so excited. But here's the thing. It's also nerves. And this was exactly eight years ago in August. And a little backstory. This was the day after I got off a family cruise. So you could tell the, the torture in my face. 
<laughs> You're and fatigued I'll, from being on a family cruise. I'll give you a little tip about being on a family cruise. So my mom made a major mistake by accidentally booking our cabin right above the karaoke bar. Oh, oh no. Boy. So so you're overtired and here you are meeting your hero at a And you're in close quarters yeah. with your family oh, and it just sounds like a nightmare. At least you got some hundred dollar gum out of it. Yeah. All right, let's get to uh, <laughs> this this is a new one. We haven't seen this one. Here, here you yeah. are with Alyssa Milano, which is a childhood crush of mine. Oh yeah. I mine love well. Yeah. I grew up watching a uh, Choose the Boss like reruns and she was actually the inspiration for Ariel and the L Little Mermaid. Her appearance at the time when she was doing Sam on Who's the Boss was actually the appear was the like the base. facial model. The the yeah. inspiration for the okay. Oh. And you're holding What's hands here, smiling? but also but still not smiling. <laughs> I really thought I was smiling. I'm the and I'm wearing the same l lipstick in the Carly Ray Jepsen photo, and I have a uh, college acne. Ooh, the haircut. Uh, and this is a seance? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to trying to summon Mona. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you are with J Lo. Ooh. So and I everybody else, you, all, yeah. are those your friends <gasps> there? Yeah, so on my left is my best friend's mom. Then the, the one in the blue is my best friend, Catherine. And next to her is our friend, Melissa. They all look great. They all look put together. Everyone is smiling. Everyone is having a blast. <laughs> <And there's, laughs> the thing the I'm kind of smiling. I think it's smiling. brilliant. I mean, this, uh, seems, this, seems completely, this seems completely unintentional that you do, like, you do a serious face for all your photos. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to copy you. Ooh, I, I'm not gonna, no, that's not, I'm, I'm not a role model. <laughs> I'm going to do that from now on. Every time I get a photo with a celebrity, I'm just going like, to... Uh, uh. Well, here's Jesse Eisenberg, who notoriously hates being a celebrity. He doesn't live really? in... He lives in, like, Ohio or something. Doesn't like yeah, the limelight. I heard, I heard, yeah. And he's kind of, he's not smiling really here either for the first He's time. actually really friendly. Yeah. Really, really, a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. And But you're doing the lean-in pose, which you have to do for a photo, and it can lead yeah. to some awkward posture, I guess. Slightly awkward, the hair movement. Uh, oh, yeah. This was back when I was cutting my own hair, obviously. Ooh. ooh. It, and, and I feel like it's all low-res cameras, too, you know? Well, because I have a junk camera yeah i mean this is yeah Samsung one now here Ooh. look at this here's you got a nice smile here there we go overzealous it's the complete opposite of sean white this is overzealous <laughs> the, uh... oh so you're smiling too much you're saying here yes it's overzealous <laughs> I think you look fine. It's here a with great photo. Yeah, I guess it's a good Thank photo. you. Thank you, See, George. that's that's how you get a photo with a celebrity. You have a nice big smile, you arms around like each other. A wax I, I think, love John Cena. I think you're learning. Yeah. Okay, this one isn't bad. Um, here you oh, are with Seamus. Can I tell the story? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. What's the story here? So here's the thing. I'm a, I have a huge crush on Seamus. I'm a huge WWE fan, huge wrestling fan. I have a huge crush on Seamus. So for years, I've been dying to get a photo with him. <laughs> dying. So this was last year. This was the week of my birthday. And I found out he was doing, um. so WrestleMania was in Jersey. And usually when WrestleMania is in, like, you know, a nearby town, they have WrestleMania Access, which is basically, basically a convention that you meet wrestlers, right? And it's a bunch of wrestlers. So I found out that he was at the convention doing photos with his tag team partner at the time uh Cesaro so I bought a $70 ticket <laughs> to meet him again like it was so like over planned and the day of the convention I go to Target I do my shopping and I bought so there's this thing where it's like a toy in a blind bag and you don't know what it is and is this is this little um keychain of Seamus. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I have it, right? So I've been planning my meeting with Seamus for years. I thought <laughs> when I meet him, he's going to fall in love with me. You know, don't meet your heroes, you know? So I was like excited to meet him. I got all like, you know, dolled up. I was brushing my hair, which looks terrible in the photo. So 
I finally like see him. My heart's beating. I'm meeting my crush. The first thing I said, I'm holding this up and I'm like, I have a squishy. That's the first thing I said. <laughs> I have a squishy. So I totally ruined it. So and, I was like, I have a and, squishy. But he proposed to you right there, right? No, he, he proposed, didn't like, propose to and me. And you guys no. are still married. And you have a couple come on, Seamus, come on. <laughs> He's dating someone who's younger than me, so. Oh, okay. All right. He's dating well. someone who's younger than me, so. Oh, uh, it sounded like a fairy tale for a while there. But. And, I, I, and this might be the plunkettiest of all. I think you've evolved. You've gotten better at oh, smiling. No. But uh, this one was probably not your brightest moment here. This one oh, was no, Boyega, <laughs> Star Wars, and Attack the Block. Yeah, Attack the Block, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you said that you were being you were kind of being mobbed and the woman behind you was like was let me john shoved. let me get a yeah, photo so with she was shoving. yeah yeah so the lady in the white right behind me she looks my age and she screams not to sound like you know petty but she screams john my daughter loves you can i get a photo like your daughter's not here you look my age like, why are you saying that? My daughter, okay, okay so my daughter loves you. Why did you. she say, I love you? She should have just said, I love you. Why, why would you say my daughter loves you? I'm just being honest. Yeah. And so she, you got shoved in, and they took the photo yeah. after you were getting pushed. So, yeah. I got mobbed. So I got yeah. pushed. I was buckling. Yeah. And he was actually begging people not to push. So, yeah. But I finally got to meet <laughs> That's good. See, that's the thing. And is there any celebrity who's like on your wish list? I know I've talked to you about this yeah. beforehand, but who are your so, like, who's your dream celebrity you want to? There's a lot, but there's a lot. So I would love to meet a lot of wrestlers, but for years, ever since I was in high school, I wanted to meet Adrian Brody, the actor. Mm -hmm. I was Kong not expecting you to say movies. that. Wow, I had a huge Brody. crush on Adrian Brody <laughs> when I was in high school. So I when everyone it, was crushing on Bieber, I was crushing on Adrian Brody. I think it's going to be a me. while, Wayne, before any of these celebrity events happen again. With you oh, know, of course. But um, in the meantime, hopped into Photoshop and made your dream come Whoa. true. So, <laughs> oh wow! Look there's at that. Wayne with a plunket with Adrian Brody. You I did know. It. Oh. Somebody oh, I love it. But I love it. Dreams really do come true on quarantine yeah. classics. Oh my gosh. Oh. I thought that was a real photo, too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Amy, I so badly, so when we're back to touring, we're not going to be touring until probably next yeah. spring. But when we do, when we come, what city are you in? I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, you're in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. So when we play uh, Alamo Draft House or something, let's get our photo oh. taken together. And Absolutely. I know the expression, we'll find a really low res camera, we'll have a lot of movement, and we'll all have serious expressions on our faces. I can't wait. Right. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and I'll, I'll stand behind you screaming, Joe, Nick, my daughter loves you. <laughs> and then Please, push, push Wayne into the merch table. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, you can, you can stick around. We're going to show some more um, plunkets from uh, Melinda's that people I'm have sent lying. in. I and uh, yeah, I think maybe it's on, I can't remember where it is. If it's on here. Oh. No, hang on. I'm on, I'm on camera right now. No more, no more I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My dad just first day. Sean White. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm on camera right now. This is the first video plunk that we've video ever plunk had. It, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I told him I'm shooting something, and then he burst, and I'm so sorry. That's All right, this is Jeremy. He was inspired by my Hawaii bike hat to send in this one with his family, who all look miserable. Um, and he's wearing a roller coaster. It looks like Neon Dragon from Cedar Point. Uh, I love shirt. this shirt. Oh, gosh. Yep. Uh, okay, now Erica sent this because she said she posted this on Facebook. And I think because of the angle that she took a photo of the photo, it looks like her arm is tiny. Oh, she yeah, said, I could see that. Yeah, she said I, it looks like my arm is a stick. I mean, the thing I'm looking at is you're entering cougar country. Yeah, oh, I didn't even <laughs> notice that. I think, I think that's, I mean, the arm is definitely yeah. the stick, but like uh, you're entering cougar country. That's the. Oh, Erica cougars said, have very thin arms. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that, that's just warning people. Thin yeah. arm country. Here's, oh, she just please. said this for comparison. This is her 1995 photo showing she has normal arms. So. <laughs> um, that angle? I don't um, know who this is, but there, it came from an email account, Rashid or Rhubarb. 
uh, whoever that is. With no explanation? And said she was taking a picture of dyeing her hair and then was and then sneezed during the picture. So oh, Joe, sneeze. on, cor- on a VCR party, you asked for, for video of people sneezing. She said she didn't have that, but she had a plunket. So. Oh, photo of somebody sneezing. That, yep. That's special. Well, Wayne, just in yes. time for everybody plunk it. This is cinematic. Matt from the UK who uh, got his I'm picture aware. taken with Mick Foley. Um, Mick Foley and Mr. Sacco. And look, they're, neither of them are looking at the camera that took the photo. Uh, I, I hate that. Yeah. <sighs> okay, this is our pal Dave Ewald, uh, who we've known since college. I didn't know that Dave and I were cut from the same class. Here, here he is with Mortimer Snurd, the, the uh, ventriloquist dummy. Uh, um, Mortimer Snur, is he on the left or is he on the right? I'll have to ask Dave. I don't. Okay, I always get fight. confused with photos yeah. sometimes. Here he is with another puppet. Now this is a puppet I had. It's the spitting image version of Ronald Reagan, and uh, Dave looks miserable here. Is that a thing? The other yep. person in the photo is surprised that Ronald yeah. Reagan is there. I, was yeah. I love this president. Photo. I love this photo. There's so much going on here. I know. This is this might usurp something for the, the last week. There could here. be some usurpation. This is this also is Dave. Great. Here's Dave in his uh, tuxedo, formal tuxedo shirt. Uh, a lot of, I mean, it's just the framing of this picture is pretty uh, plunky. Yeah, well. and, and we know Dave, and Dave's a smart guy, and uh, but he just looks very simple here. Oh, yeah. Dave, Dave <laughs> like, ran a record label. I think he still does. And he's kind of like, yeah, a great photographer, and this is not a great photograph. No. This is Ginny from, she's from Canada, but she went to Scotland, visited the Canadian embassy, and took her picture with a Mountie. And her friends were like, why did you come all the way to Scotland to take a picture with a Mountie? But, and she said, she, I think she had a great observation, which is anytime you're carrying a plastic shopping bag in a photo, <laughs> it's not flattering. No, it, it really it isn't. Just cheap and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, this is Kevin. He said he thought the photographer's direction was, okay, scrunch up your shoulders really tight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not framed well either. It's the totally f- terrible. Or Ken. Terrible. I think I said Kevin. It's Ken. Ken also sent this one in. Again, here's another. Oh, no. Lester, who was my dummy growing up too. So There's Look, a lot of ventriloquism plunkets coming in now. Yep, That's exactly. That's like a new kind of plunket. This is Laura set. She said her outfit was plunkety. And also in the background, you could say it says, come dumpster. So uh, <laughs> this is her friend's room. I don't know why it said that That's on her. her friend's room? Yeah, <laughs> I love the, I love the the combo unit, the TV VCR. Yeah, combo yeah, unit. I know. Oh, I could go for one of those now. I love the outfit. We've all had that, you know, emo phase back in high yes. school. Yes. Here's uh with her friend. Um, <laughs> oh, of course. And uh, got smushed, and her glasses were on cockeyed. So she said that was plunkety. And she's the one on the left or the one on the right? The right. Okay, gotcha. Yep, that's Laura said. I'm not going to find that joke either. Just so you know. Finally, this is Christy, who's a school teacher. I think she blurred out the child's photo, but she said she her eyes are closed. She's not wearing a good expression and has a double chin. Double so exit sign. I love it. Yep. yep. And the <laughs> double exit sign. Good observation. It's got- Linus from the, the, the peanuts just poking yep. in. Well, we, 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 we have one. I think double exit sign plunkets should be the new thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, we have one more week of quarantine classics, and uh, but I'd like to see more double exit sign plunkets. Well, uh, send them to us. This is your last chance to get us plunkets. It's info at foundfootagefest.com. We need them by uh, next Friday. I, I'm thinking that maybe maybe we do like an all plunket show after we do Saturday morning cartoons. It's just a plunket show, and then we do it like like we did with the tournament, where we have brackets and competing to see who is the plunkettiest plunket of all time. And I think Steve's probably going to win it. But um, oh, well, I'm going to say one thing: once this COVID's over, all of my photos, like the traditional ones from when I was younger are all in Los Angeles in a storage facility. And once I can get to those, then we, you guys are going to see something. Like the <laughs> gates right. will open. Yeah. Oh, I'm, man. Well, yeah, we'll have to bring it back. We'll yeah. have to okay. bring it back. Please, yeah. please. I just want to allow that some of these. But keep in mind, in September, we're going to do the primetime special called, uh, George, again, the name of that? TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. It's going to be great. Everybody's going to be in uh, tuxedo shirts like Dave was wearing next to the piano. And... Uh, Wayne, thanks for coming to tell us your celebrity Plunkett stories. Thanks, Wayne. Yes. Thank All right. Good job, Wayne. Thank you. Take Anytime care. you have another celebrity Plunkett, send it our way. Keep us updated. Keep us updated.
Yep. All right, we've got more business to take care of, but thanks again. We'll see you next time. Thanks for having me. All right. So uh, thanks to Wayne again. Uh, that shows your Plunkets. What's up next? Um, what do I got? Oh, which thumb is Steve? Uh, although I retired that show. Now, yes. I don't. I don't really, I don't see the, the Melinda verse that often. I'm, I'm not on Facebook that often. So did people like the last week's one? What was it? What's, what's Steve's thumb? They've even stopped commenting on it. That's how much they like it. They don't <laughs> really? just, just a general disinterest. Just, okay. they're just, they don't say anything I'll, anymore. It's I'll be just, honest. The only reason I like doing quarantine classics is because of which thumb is Steve. That's the only, that's what keeps me coming back each week. Um, it's not the Plunkets anymore. It's Which Thumb is Steve. So I got a new game this week, and I hope you're real excited when you see it. It's called Which Theme is Stub? Okay, so here's how, here's how we play it. All right, I'm going to show you two stubs, and only one of those stubs is theme. Okay? You guys understand so far? It's, yep. it's similar to which, which Thumb is Steve but it's different. All right. No questions. I think we're all on the same page here. Great. Here is your first stub. Okay. There is your first stub. All right. Soak it in. You guys soak it in? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Soaked. All right. <laughs> we got, uh, and here's your second stub. Okay. Hmm. We've got two stubs. Only one of them is theme. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's, where's Stub going? Okay, oh. I'm going to go the one on the right. And why do you say that? It's, it's tough because both Stubs have Carl Strauss hats. Both have lanyards, so yeah. that's out. It's, There's yeah. an ESPN backdrop behind both of them. Uh -huh. But I'm going to say that I know Stub uh, has more bags under his eyes than most and has a <laughs> weird mouth. So I'm going with uh, theme being on the right. <laughs> George, which theme of Stub? All right, I'm gonna say the one in the middle because I can that <laughs> that, that that like sort of um, fragment of shoulder is the only thing that I can recognize as belonging to the reality to which I was raised. Okay. So I think that's the. Um, You're going with middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, middle. And uh, Steve, which stub is theme? I I think you found a, an amazing horror movie. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with what are the names again? Stub and theme. Stub and theme. Stub and theme. Which, no, which stub theme right, theme, theme stub. left. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I uh, maybe I should have asked a question. To the right. To the right. Okay, you to the right, and you are correct. Hey, my first win. Yes, and that's yes. how you play. Which theme is stub? All right. That's great. I can't wait to see what next week's game is. It's the only thing that keeps me going on quarantine classics. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let the me. The Mondaverse is going to go on fire after this. Yeah, I think you'll get more whiskey for that one. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Let me show some. Uh, I think I have some jingles to show. Actually, let's get to. Uh, is Mr. Sprinkles here? Oh, uh, let me check just a sec. Wait, wasn't there going to be a rap battle or something between Mr. Sprinkles and. Oh, you guys again. I'm firing my agent out of a cannon. Wow! <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles, come on. Oh, he's, Mr. Sprinkles. He's been okay, with so for years. Who do we got? Oh, hey, it's Nick, everyone. Hi. It's, it's the guy who likes Weird Al and Pee Wee Herman. Sorry, ladies, he's taken. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sprinkles. Oh, who's that laughing? Because it's true. Joe? Uh, yeah, it's me. Hi, Mr. Sprinkles. The guy who likes excrement and earwax. Sorry, ladies, he's taken. <laughs> Is anything a theme here? Oh, I, I hope that's his new catchphrase, yeah. Oh, Mr. Sprinkles, I thought you were going to say something nice, but then it turned out to be mean. Oh, then there's Steve. I mean, what can you say about Steve? Something Nothing, nice. because his tongue's down your throat. <laughs> Can't say anything nice. Oh, and finally the creep. This creepy SOB keeps me in the suitcase under his bed. I'm sure many of his other victims can relate. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'll be at the Comedy Terrain in Tulsa on Tuesday. See you around, nerds. <laughs> oh, Mr. The Sprinkles. The comedy Terrain? Is that what he said? Terrain. Terrain. A, oh. But they keep souping. Right. Yeah. Uh, of course. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles pulling no punches. You know, I'll go ahead and say this about Mr. Sprinkles. Like, he does insult us a lot, but I still like him. Yeah. I, I do, too. He's got you charisma. Usually there somebody, is a dick. If somebody know. insults me, I usually don't like him. But when he does it, I actually still kind of like him. Is Mr. Sprinkles taken, by the way? Should we do have to apologize <laughs> to ladies about 
<laughs> Next week, we'll find out. Okay. He's married with six children. We've been, uh, we've wait, been talking wait, wait. about... Wait, what about this rap battle? You had this idea for this rap battle between Mr. Sprinkles. Mr. Sprinkles no, I had that idea. Rap. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You had that oh. idea. <laughs> and it was Mr. Sprinkles, the... The, the candy whatever, the top, or the ice cream going to do a rap. And I believe you were responsible for that. And well, it anything. almost seems like something that would happen during a series finale. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Almost well, seems like a sweepsweet kind of finale thing. Uh, okay. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Stay we got to get the advertisers in before nice. we have to set the rates right as we end the series. Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to do, we've been scouting um, new blue chip recruits for our, our uh, a jingle tournament, tournament that, that may or may not happen. Maybe it'll happen as part of a different series. But uh, I just wanted, I got a lot of blue chips I wanted to tout out today that were sent in. And I, I put them all together. They're quick. So let me just run through them. Um, first of all, this one was sent in by Hayden, I believe. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, this is a buffet jingle. Pacific Buffet and Grill, a world of flavor waits for you. A taste for every taste, a smile on every face. And Fresh zero vegan food. Every afternoon and Even the corn has butter in it. First aroma till dessert is through. From the first aroma, I hate the word aroma, <laughs> till dessert is through. From the first aroma till dessert is through. Pacific Buffet and Grill, a world of flavor waits for you. Oh, that's your next winner. That's yeah, the next winner. Yeah. Easily. All what, right. What, what city is that? What, what city state is that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, but buffets might be a thing of the past with COVID, and I don't know if that's a bad thing. Um, here's uh, Bickford's. Courtney sent this one in, and. Uh, Takes a while to get to the jingle, but the whole commercial is good. This is from New Jersey. What? They're not saying anything. Mm. Mm. A is for apples. B is for big. Ooh. <laughs> she takes after his father. Big bird, breakfast anytime. Holy I mean, shit. That is like Holy baby rapper shit. territory. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah. Do you want to see it again? Yes, please. I'll just get to the AS rap. Well, they're, they're all staring at each other, not saying any words. Yeah, this isn't how humans interact. <laughs> Baby's first words. He takes after his father. Is that chicken skin? I think it's uh, hash browns. Wow, that that you. They were all together. How are hash browns hash browns that together? Well, buffet buffet just, hash browns. I just want to see. I think that's chicken skin. I'm with uh, Nick. I think it's hash browns. Well, no, that's chicken skin. Look at it. Isn't it the top of that thing? I think that it's was the top the of the previous... pie. The apple pie. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's a good point. After his father, Bigfords, breakfast anytime. Bigfords, it kind of sounds like Chi Chi's, a celebration of food. All right, Jim's Coins. I don't know who this is, but born in the 80s sent this to us on our Patreon. That's the name. But this is from Madison. I vaguely remember this commercial. Jim's Coins in Hilda. Gold is up. Buying and selling. Top prices for gold, silver, coins, jewelry, and more. Honest, professional, and locally owned for 21 years. Cash in today at Jim's Coins in Hilda. Matt. That's a plunket. <laughs> that is a plunket in their commercial. It's a, it's a business plunket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The rarely seen business plunket. Clearly, they didn't have budget to hire Otis, so they just kind of sang into a microphone. Jewelry Jim's and more. Honest, oh, there. professional, and locally owned for 21 years. Cash in today at Jim's Coins in Hilda. Matt is and they're not singing harmony. They're just both singing the melody. And like half the people don't seem happy to be working at Jim's Coins. I know. How, how, so, how, can, how can a coin shop have that many employees? <laughs> I they, know. Get like, they get like one, one customer in a week. Yeah. I mean, Madison has a lot of unsustainable business models that just somehow, you know. Yeah. Bernie's Rock Shop has been yeah. around. It's, it's, it's 
They sell rocks. I mean, there was pretty a, rocks. There was a breakfast place that would do porn and eggs every Saturday morning, so you could watch porn while you ate your eggs on, on the TV screens. That just lasted for like 20 years in Madison. I don't I like know. those two words together, porn and eggs. No. Ugh, no. Just those Steve? two words. I was going to say, by the way, by two guys who's made their business a VHS. So just, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now the, la the last thing I want to show you, I've never seen – the actual singing in a studio of a jingle, like the outtakes. But Jerry sent this, this is a six minute video, I cut it down, but you get to see outtakes of a jingle singer, a professional jingle singer, um, uh, singing Patty Cake's Bread Jingle. Patty Cake, rainbow bread, gotta give me I thought she nailed it. She didn't like it. Patty cake. Patty cake. Oh, rainbow bread. Gotta get me some. Patty cake. Patty cake. The rainbow bread is my number one. Cause it's good bread. You know that it's bread. She didn't like the take. She so, did, seems like she, see, she, she can never be satisfied. No. Well, she gets it by the end of it. But, um, yeah, it's a really soulful singing with the lyrics, it's good bread. So that's uh, for Patty Kay. I want to see the final jingle, but, yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, anybody else got any recruits they're grooming? I got Girl? nothing. I've got one. Uh, I, I'm, I've waited a long time to play this. This is the um, – uh, I've shown a lot of Philly news stuff lately. This is the theme song to the uh, ABC affiliate action news. I love this song, and you will too. If I hit share sound. Oh, boy. <laughs> Week 19. We all just need a bowl of Batman cereal by our side. Here we go. Oh, wait. Yes. Wow. Wow. So instrumental? Powerful. Yes. I don't think we've had one of those. No, but it, know, it says a lot. You know what I no can't words. believe is that they didn't have the Rocky statue in there. I thought for sure. I mean, like, isn't that the greatest pride, like, that you guys have? Yes. I feel like, I feel like they would just, like, <laughs> focus what? in on Rocky's head for, like, the whole commercial. The thing is that they, that they do a different intro, maybe – it's pretty often. I don't know if it's every month or every few weeks. There have been, you know, for 40 years with that song, I've seen intro after intro. Rocky's made some appearances. Actually, I think Sylvester Stallone sometimes would appear in him when he was in town. Uh, there but, you go. Uh, yeah. But, well, you know, you see cheesesteaks, uh, you see this fanatic. What else is there, really? Whenever, the there is, uh, whenever there's a, another jingle tournament, maybe we'll do it another special, like uh, – TVs, plunkets, and practical thumbs. We'll do one for just the uh, tournament, and uh, we'll bring all our new recruits on there, and we'll declare a winner. I want to do a special thirty-minute show of which thumb is Steve, but maybe I'll do. Maybe if this new one is is big, maybe I'll do a thirty-minute special of which theme is Stuv. I'd watch that. We have some celebrity uh, contestants, and yeah, Steve's wife joins us, and I think it'd be great. <laughs> Steve, do you think do you think Liz will like uh, which theme is Stuv, or? Um... You know, she, did, she didn't like which thumb is Steve. She did right? not. No, okay. she might like it, but my, you know, well, who knows? I don't want to speak for her. We'll definitely show it to her and report back. Okay, text me tonight after theirs, and she sits down and watches the whole episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I let her watch by herself. So she's sure. like, now who's Wayney? Why is she on? <laughs> 
Um, all right, what, what's going oh, on? Let, let, let's wrap up this uh, this this uh, ultimate Nick video uh, thing. This is uh, this the the sweet mix team. So we started this. I started this a couple weeks ago. Um, sweet mix team tournament 2020 tournament 2020 sexual division versus the elves and shit division. Um, I I didn't bring. I, do you guys have anything to bring to the table, or can we just like wrap this up with this? particular pro. let's just wrap it up all right Steve's giving the wrap-up symbol okay so we got clown people George do you have clown people yes on you okay clown people versus cheeks I have cheeks on me um let's just find out what is the ultimate Nick Pruer video of all time and <laughs> out of four possible contenders <laughs> there's a lot of entrance but there can only be one winner <laughs> I think what we were trying to do with this is try to like, like bring back the enthusiasm of the toe tapping tournament, and it just wasn't there. Um, but uh, nevertheless, we got the rules finish it. were never clearly established. And still aren't. <laughs> nevertheless, we're going to finish this fucker out. Here's uh, cheeks. This is this is the contender to be the next ultimate Nick Pruer. Okay. Video. Cheeks. Cheeks, the ladies' club, twenty thousand one North Cave Creek. Cheeks. So now that's in the sexuality division, and mm -hmm. here's the thing about Nick's sexuality: it's it's for all genders. Like it does sexuality is sexuality for for Nick. Is that correct? Am I getting that right, Nick? I no, I wouldn't say that, but. Uh... The whole thing about sexual man, I think you've done strictly because you know my parents watch these shows. <laughs> Not true, uh, but sure, sure, for the sake of the tournament, yes. Uh, George, do you got clowns? And sh do you have the clowns and shit division? Yeah, or I'll, I'll play the part that um, that that Nick liked in this video. Okay. We start our chapter on clown gags with the living legend, the great Lou Jacobs. Lou's been entertaining audiences with the greatest show on earth for more than 60 years. Like Here, picture he's Marty showing there. students at Clown College. I'm going to let this run a little long. Pee -wee, a part of his classic act for many years. Did he Lou is the people? only clown ever That's to the first day I noticed that United States yeah. poster stamp. And he has created some of the most famous clown gags in circus See, history. Picture Marty in that including element. a circus tradition, the renowned clown car. This is disturbing. So I, this may Here change you see every, one of Lou's most famous routines, the rabbit hunter. Pee Wee, dressed as a rabbit, plays dead after Hunter Lou tries to bag his dinner with his pop gun. Watch the payoff. What's the payoff? I found this disturbing. All the clowns in the audience. That's disturbing. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> playing dead. Marty can. But I, it's not after I point a gun at him. Yeah, I, that's the part I don't like. I don't yeah. like this either. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. Or this. I mean, he's clearly alive. The dog likes him. <laughs> Almost done. old pretend to shoot the dog routine half the fun of being a clown is creating your own gags we're going to show you a couple and then give you a few pointers to start you on your way entertaining audiences at home school or just a clown around with a couple of friends and that's what we're doing you're clowning around with a couple of friends nick i'm going to suggest that you do that with marty you teach marty that trick where you shoot him but instead of lifting his paw to see if he's dead you grab his penis that's uh it's the out That's of my version of it. Yeah, yeah. And you lift up his penis and then drop it, and then Marty will let it lay limp. The and, new wrinkle and... on that classic clown routine. <laughs> yeah, so I like it. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Uh, okay, well, what's how does this work? Okay, so you will tell us which one you think is the ultimate Nick video, but then the three of us will vote okay. on which is actually the ultimate Nick video. The ultimate me video is cheeks, hands down. It's got um, male strippers, which I think is always funny. It's concise, it's short, 
And I did like the dogs in the costumes, but I mean, and it's also called Cheeks, which I just think is on its face, just referring to butt cheeks as the title of a strip club. Is funny, or is so. it face cheeks? I don't know. I think that's the interesting thing about it because people can debate that. Which cheeks are they talking about? That's mm -hmm. why I think it's a fun video. I right. also agree with Nick. I think that is the ultimate Nick Per video because it starts strong, it finishes strong, and it just, it just ticks all the boxes. It's 30 seconds long. It's in, it's out. And it's just perfect sexuality for Nick. And he's a sexual man. So it doesn't surprise me that he would go with that too. So definitely cheeks. Steve, what do you think? Uh, I got to agree with you. I think the real reason why we're doing away with this tournament is after we saw Cheeks, we knew there's, how are we going to find a video that is more Nick than Cheeks? Mm -hmm. It's, well, it's a runaway. a charitable way to look at it, but sure. It's a, yeah. it's a runaway. I vote Cheeks. George? George? It's a clean sweep. Cheeks for the win. <laughs> it's a great song. I'm going to be thinking about it all night. Well, there you have it. That's Nick Pruer's <laughs> ultimate Nick Pruer video. Sweet Nick And we team. figured it out. And hold on. Let me just find a cool <laughs> drawing thing here. I think this will do it. And we got... To make it official. Well, hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's do a more fun color than that. Let's go with a, like a red or something. Uh, oh, nope. Uh, let's, here, hold on. Yeah, we should have Batman cereal right We next might to be running along tonight, guys. All right, we got it. <laughs> There's your winner. Wait, Cheeks. which one's one? Cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Everyone was on the edge of their seat. Their their cheeks their were cheeks. barely on their chair. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you covered up cheeks. Yeah, oh, if you can move some of the lines over. Here, yeah. Well, if, if cheeks can't fulfill the duties of the winner, the clown people can, That's can true. step in. Hey, uh, let me uh, usurp the screen here to show you that in uh, next week's EP mode, or this past week's EP mode, no, this week's EP mode, we are watching the second half of the Chicago party. It's been a ventriloquism heavy show. So why not show a little bit of clip from this um, variety dance show that aired on a UHF station in 1982 in Chicago. All right, you're gonna make a deal. If, if you can do this, then I'll do what you say. Okay, all right. Can you do this? No, I cannot do that. Get, get your head up. I'm stuck. What do you say? I'm stuck. <laughs> Help me out. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh, count to three. All right, ready? One, two, two and a half. Wall in there. Don't just three. Three. Uh, yeah, you know, take it easy. I mean, he's no Mr. Sprinkles. <laughs> no, but it is really. He barely insulted people. So, yeah, there's ventriloquism. There's tons more stuff in uh, the second half of the Chicago Party. Join us at patreon.com slash found footage festival. You know that. You know what I'm amazed at is that why do the people who are with ventriloquist dummies, why do they always hang out with them? Because the ventriloquist dummies always insult them. Like, why would they want to hang out with somebody who always insults you? I mean, people I, can say, say the same thing about you and I, but yeah. uh, it's just, I don't know. There's but, some, it's abusive. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean, Nick, that you're actually operating Joe? Oh. I, well. It's a I'm cliffhanger like, episode. Is your we don't know. Behind me? Is that, what, is that what you're saying? You can't see where it is, so okay. yeah. Uh, one more thing. Computer Beach Party is a week from today. That is our big live event where we're going to have, I think we announced last week that we have all three stars are going to be on uh, from the movie. George tracked them down, and uh, they're being reuniting for the first time. And one thing the lead, um, Hank Amigo, told me, he goes, can you apologize to Stacy for me? I was young and dumb. And I said, no, you do it on the show. So cool. here's a little graphic I made. You can see what they look like now. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so go to uh, foundfootagefest.com. It's our Zoom webinar. It's going to be a screening of the movie with little, uh, not skits, but we're going to deconstruct the movie. We're going to reunite these people. And there's going to be trivia games with prizes. I have the last prize to show up, uh, to show off. Check this out. It's a huge beach towel. Oh, cool. Beach party. So you can be a lucky winner. You can uh, answer some trivia questions, pay close attention to the movie. Oh, that towel would get you so dry. Oh, my it God. Like. And uh, you could probably, yeah. yeah, it'd be stylish. Terry cloth on the back. Yeah. yeah. Bring this to your beach. And uh, there's, so anyway, it's fun. We hope you'll join us. There's uh, like 100 spots left. It's limited. So join us for that. Anything else, guys? That's it. That's all. That's it. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. Better luck next time. Chucky, and that's all. That's it. We'll be right back right after that. Everybody's a puppet when they're dead.
What am I, some kind of picnic nut? Yeah.